really getting into I like, these. I like the acting more. You do? You really yes. enjoy these these cartoons, though, it seems like. I mean, you are of that age. You're not watching this stuff, though, are you? The Teletoon stuff? No, no, no. I'm watching, like, 14 now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're on Facebook. Did you know you're supposed to be 13 years old to have a Facebook account? What's up with that? Yeah. All right. So? I'm just, like... Your dad's running the show, though, on the Facebook pages. Yeah. No? And the Twitter accounts? Is he watching over? Is he taking care of the social media? Yeah. Or are you that well-versed at it? Instagram. I, and thanks for getting a, a tweet out for me today. How many followers you got? 16,000. Really? That's not too bad. You think that's all just all from your movie work? I, I don't know. Some of it might be from a fen friends and family. Right. Yeah, but I think... Yeah, I have uh, this Murdoch Mysteries, like, uh, is it Sudbury? Winnipeg uh, Constabulary. Um, there are these group of women who follow Murdoch Mysteries, and they're always following me. Okay. How about at school? Do you get any, or do they kind of look at you like a rock star when you're at school, or are you just a normal 10-year-old, 9-year-old kid at school? What school do you go to, first of all? Well, my friends are used to it. Um, Princess Margaret Public School. Okay. Niagara Falls? Uh, yeah. Any favorite my teachers there you want to shout out to? Miss Blakely? What? Are you, uh, yeah. What, what? Favorite teacher. Yeah? And Miss Crawford, thank you. Okay, good. 905 688 if you want to get in with the child actor or the rock and roll star is here. We've been working on him for a little while. Christian DeStefano is in the booth with me taking questions. Now, what else does you want to get off your chest? Because I can see you're bursting. You're trying to interrupt me. So what's up? What do you want to say? Um. Well, I'm going to New York next week or Thursday. Right. Thursday, yeah. Um, for Creative Galaxy, there's some kids for the uh, New York Children's Museum. I'm going there to to present Creative Galaxy. Yeah. Yeah. Wicked. What else you got coming up? Um. When are all these things getting released? I want to see this clown movie now. It looks really, really creepy. I think it's getting released in October, but I'm not sure of it. Okay. Um, but I just went to the premiere for Cut Bang. Okay. With uh, Liam Hemsworth and Ethel Wyatt, um, in June, yeah, I was just there, and it's really good. It's funny. So, what's it like to meet some of these guys when you walk up and you see a movie star? Do you get are you a little starstruck or? Are you... I don't think of because they're not. I'm not really famous. Okay. So I'm not really. Um, I don't look as them as Liam Hemsworth. Okay. Well, who are you a fan of? Who's like your favorite actor right now? Adam Sandler. So if you were to see Adam Sandler, you think you'd be a little goofy? I'd be like, Mickey, Adam Sandler. So would you get starstruck? Would you be able to talk to the guy? Well, my friend that I do a lot of voiceover with, he plays with Adam Sandler's kids, and he went um, to Hawaii with, Adam Sandler because they're Jewish and for, for uh, Christmas. Okay. <laughs> All right. But I just I think it's just so funny. You're nine years old and you just yeah. So he went with his family because they're Jewish and it like was Christmas. He went to Hawaii. It's all good. Just <laughs> in Stefano. Thank you so much for coming in, my brother, uh, and for bringing your friend. Now tell me about Samantha Grace. How'd you get hooked up with this girl? Not, not that she's your girl, she's 17 Dad, years old, a little old yeah, for you. 18. 18, but, okay. Um, Did you meet her out in L.A.? Or, uh, I yeah, mean, I met her out in L.A. Um, I was uh, staying for the pilot season. Okay. Pilot season, I was staying at a hotel. Right. Um, called Residence Inn. Okay. Um, and then, um, we went
went to the bonfire and then we saw Sam and she was um, going to play the tunes for everybody. Right. And that's how I think they talked to the parents. Oh, the parents. I see how it worked out. So she didn't just, you didn't just walk up and go, hey, I'm Christian. What's your name? No. Or vice versa. But at first I saw them. I saw her with her brother, Kevin, um, playing basketball. Well, I was going to play basketball, too. <laughs> you don't know what he's done. I'm waiting for more. Oh, he's got a little bit more. Samantha Grace, she's going to play a live one for us, a full song on the way back. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate your time. Thanks Thank for coming you. in. You handled yourself very well. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, you're welcome. We'll check in with you in a few months. Maybe get you back in to touch up. I'm not going to be so nice the next time around, brother. <laughs> Samantha Grace will play a full song for us in the next segment, and then we'll come back and we'll interview her friend of Christian's as well from L.A., Santa Barbara, via Phoenix. Drew Comerford's got her Arizona. mic'd up. Arizona? Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for that. Phoenix is in Arizona. Nice job, though, brother. You knew that. I know. That's where the ballet studio was, remember? More from Samantha Grace on the way back right here on 610 CKTV.